guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Stephanie with Jambalaya Resell. I'm a full-time school librarian and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Kitizen, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. Today, I have a Goodwill Outlet haul for you. So if you are unfamiliar with the Goodwill Outlet is, um, some people refer to it as the bins. And it's basically where when Goodwill doesn't sell items in their regular store locations, they ship it all off to their outlet store. And then um, at the outlet store, it is put into bins, which are basically like troughs is the best way to describe it and you go through you pick out what you want and then it's sold per pound so at my goodwill outlet i think it's a dollar 69 a pound but if you if you buy more than 25 pounds it's a dollar 49 a pound so a couple weeks ago i had um, some time off of school we had a three-day fall break and a good friend of mine who um she lives several towns away. We don't see each other nearly enough. She was on fall break as well, and she came over and wanted to go to the Goodwill Outlet with me. She's one of my few friends who has ever been to the Goodwill Outlet with me, um, and so we went, and it really wasn't my best Goodwill Outlet um, haul day, but um, it was a couple weeks ago, and it has taken me a while to get the things listed just because life has been crazy busy, and so I hadn't even done a haul video for y'all, and I had to go back and look to see how much I even spent. So, I spent $61.20. I did buy enough for it to drop to the $1.49 a pound, and I'm going to show you the things that I purchased. Um there were a couple of items I purchased for myself that aren't in this. Uh, one of the things was this really cute shirt. I think it's Ann Taylor. And it's got the little tassels. And I just, I feel really good in it. So, um, it is hard for me to find work clothes that I feel really good about myself in. And I really like this top. So, that is one of my favorite things I got. Oh, and then I have a great story for y'all. So, um listen up for that. So I think I'll save the item that has the story. So you have to watch a little bit longer, but I have a little story for you. Um, it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster. All right. Um, only one thing out of all of this is sold because like I said, I pretty much just now got the things listed. So it's all here, even the thing that's sold. And I'll just show it a little later because it's the thing that has a story attached. All right. So... I picked up this bag because it had all these cross stitch things in it and I pulled these out. Everything has been opened though. Like I think all the parts are still in these, but they're definitely open and they're just not very valuable. And this is all just like bits and pieces. And so I think I'm just going to hang on to all of this until I get more like items. And then I'll just do a big lot, maybe an auction lot on eBay. So this isn't listed. Oh, the item that's sold is not the item that has the story attached. So I can go ahead and show you all that. This is what's sold. It is a vintage spice cabinet and it's got a few little scratches on it, but it's still in really good condition. It's got the stamps on the bottom. It's Imperial Japan. So this sold pretty much within 24 hours of actually being listed for $35. So if you see any little vintage spice cabinets, um, be on the lookout for those because they're great sellers. And it was $35 plus shipping, but Facebook has a promotion going right now where they're paying for the shipping for the buyers. So my buyer was just $35 all in, but I don't have to pay shipping. I found these Monopoly signs. They're from Hobby Lobby, but this is like the go to jail. And this is Reading Railroad. And I've lotted them up together. Woo! Um, they'd be really cute in somebody's game room. Alright, um, y'all know I tell you that I do not sleep on Old Navy. A lot of people just won't touch it, but y'all, like really the Old Navy jeans do fairly well because people know what they need. So these are Old Navy Sweetheart and they're 12 short. 
And I need to go back now that I just read that and make sure my listing says 12 short. But here are just some jeans. I'm sitting a lot closer to the camera than I usually do. I usually do my haul videos on the floor, but y'all, there's just too much stuff in this room right now for me to do that. So I'm just going to do the best I can showing y'all. All right, so my friend found these, and she's like, what about Miss Me? And Miss Me jeans do pretty well, uh, not as well as they used to, but they still sell fairly well. These are Miss Me pants, and I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you somewhat can. The shimmer and shine on these. So it's like they're cotton pants. What is the material makeup? But they're linen. They're linen pants, but they're like so shiny and so they make me think of like y2k um they are flawed like somebody cut an extra hole because i think like they just are supposed to zip up and then tie up and somebody had cut an extra hole to like add a button on here and it just it wasn't working i just took the button off and disclosed that it had an extra hole all right y'all know i like to pick up some lingerie but i made a mistake with this piece so this is like, the clasp is messed up on this. I cannot figure out how to hook it. I think it's missing part of the clasp. And so, I don't think I can sell it. So, that's a bummer. I just hit a button on my keyboard and stopped the video. Okay, back at it. Um, I've got some more Old Navy jeans. These have a button fly. And they are the Power Straight High Rise. So, they're nice. I'm going to scoot back a tiny bit, guys. Let's see if I can scoot back some. These are a brand I had not heard of before. They are Cosmic Blue Love. And these have really good comps. So, if you run across some Cosmic Blue Love denim, I suggest looking it up. But, I think they're like a straight leg. These are listed around $35, I believe. Another mall brand. This is American Eagle, and it is this tie-dye romper. It's got the long sleeve, so I know we're going into fall, and this is a short romper, but I still think it'll sell around $15. I just might have to hold on to it a little longer. I picked up this piece. This is Southern Marsh, and I always pick up their pieces when they're cheap enough because people do like it. However, there is a small stain on this, and so it's right here. You can't, you can really see it when I'm in front of the ring light. It's not even picking up on this hardly. It's right here, and it's kind of like a little tan stain. Um, I think I'm going to try taking this to Uptown Cheapskate, which is like Plato's Closet, um, and see if they maybe don't notice it. This I bought for myself and then looked horrible on me, so I'm selling it. But it is a Gap dress, and it's just this short sleeve. It's full cotton, but it feels linen. Um, it is um, lined because it's like each layer is really sheer. It looked really bad on me. I had such high hopes for this. So I decided to list that. This is a really cute vintage nylon jacket. I don't think it's actually nylon though. It's polyester. But it's like 1990s. I really like this detail right here. I've got... Hadn't heard of this brand either, Jock's Girlfriend, but the label looked nice, so I got it. Um, this, I feel like, is an older piece. It's a little, the style's a little outdated. Um, it's just not as oversized, I feel like, is what is on trend right now, but I still think I can get about $15 for this. I bought this old navy piece for myself and did not realize it was as cropped as it is. Um, it's just like a short blouse. Like, see, there's not much to it. I have some high-rise pants, and I thought 
that I would give this shirt a chance with those, but it looked really bad on me, so I'm going to try selling that. This lingerie is camo, but did not notice it does have a tiny, back here, it has a tiny hole in it right there. Um, I still think it will sell because it's very tiny. Um, a lot of times I think the lingerie gets sold to like photographers who do the boudoir pictures. Um, every time I say that word, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, I still think it'll sell. Um, this is a piece of shapewear and my friend actually found this and gave it to me. Um, I don't know this brand. It's just TC mm -hmm. Fine Shapewear. It's not a brand I've sold before, but it has decent comps. Most shapewear does. So if you ever come across shapewear, um, pick it up. This is Intro brand, which is... My child just screamed. This is Intro brand, which is like a boutique brand. Now, my Uptown Cheapskate does sell this, and they... Like, they will sell new pieces of this. So, I'm pretty sure if it doesn't sell for me on Posh, I can take it up there and they will take it. Um, it's just got this really nice embroidery all over. I feel like this piece is super on trend right now, even though I didn't know the brand. This is Wishlist. But I just feel like this oversized waffle knit button front shirt, like this is totally on trend right now. So I feel like that will sell. This is Loft, which I pick up most of the time if I find it at the bins. It sells fairly expensive in my opinion in the store, but then like resale value isn't very high. It's just very saturated. Um, but this is a short sleeve sweater. And um, I used to wear things like this when I was in college, like short sleeve sweaters that are very see-through. You have to wear a tank under it. And they are back in style now. My friend was wearing one almost exactly like this the other day. So I got that. Picked up another piece of lingerie. It's just this pink right here. I think I'm keeping this piece. I don't remember. Maybe I put it in the bucket to show y'all. This is just Old Navy and it is a white blouse. Kind of like a cream color blouse. I see the camera goes out of focus every time I do that. Anyway, I'm keeping this piece. It's very sheer so I have to wear a tank under it. But it looks very dressy and I like it. Alright, this is Daniel Rain. And it is a Swiss dot tank top blouse. It's more pink than it looks on this camera right now. I thought about keeping this piece and it looks decent on me. And so if it doesn't sell, I think I will. Um, this is just Banana Republic. And it's got these adorable flutter sleeves. And it's just a very soft, feminine piece. It's it's so not staying in focus when I show y'all this. Um, it's kind of got like a pink undertone. It's kind of like a cream pink, very understated, very feminine. Um, it looked decent on me. So like I said, if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. Um, this is a vintage piece. It is the brand Lady Diplomat, which I don't know. But as I've told y'all before, with vintage pieces, the brand is less important than the overall look of the piece. And I feel like this style is on trend right now. And I know I've said on trend about 52 times in this video. So I apologize for that. But I do feel this is on trend right now. Alright, I'm keeping this also. So I guess I did put the things I'm keeping back in here. This is Calvin Klein. And it's just a pink tank. This 
was on the cover um, for this video. So like on the tile you clicked on was me in this. This is my new dinosaur onesie. So I think it's got, does it have feet? It doesn't have feet. It just has the hood. Um, this is actually the children's place. I didn't know they sold adult sizes, but I guess in Halloween costumes or things like that they do. So I put it on after I washed it and um, I was creeping around the house like being a dinosaur, which my son thought was great. And then I get to my husband and I'm like, ah, and he's like, what? Where did you get that? And I'm like, I got it at Goodwill. And he's like, for what? When are you going to wear it? And I was like, uh, right now? When is not a good time to wear a dinosaur onesie? That's my question right there. When is a bad time for that? Because this is a good time. Um, if I didn't live in Louisiana where it's 9 million degrees on Halloween night, I would totally wear this when we go trick-or-treating. But I have a feeling it's going to be really hot. This is the brand Skies Are Blue, just a little um, boutique -y piece with a little cactus print all over it. I feel like cactus is still on trend, but I'm not 100% sure, but this is a cute top. I got this piece for myself, and then it looked like garbage on me. This is Judith March. I have another piece of hers that I think is really cute that I've been trying to sell for like a year, and it's not moving. But I thought I would wear this little tunic. It is a little bit flawed. Um, some of the embroidery is coming loose in a couple of places. But anyway, it looked really bad on me. So I'm going to try selling it. I got Victoria's Secret Pink. It's just a little camo v-neck. Just a little basic piece. Don't always pick up LuLaRoe. In fact, my friend tried to bring me a LuLaRoe dress, and I was like, no, I don't want that. I only pick up LuLaRoe if it is Disney. <laughs> if it's Disney print, if it's like a holiday print like these, or if I can wear it myself. Um, and I don't think it's ugly, because some of the LuLaRoe stuff is tacky. But these are just some little mistletoe leggings. I think those will sell. I got some swimwear. I got... This piece right here, I really like the neck on that. This is Morona, so it's Target brand, and it's just teal. It's pretty cute. I got this. This is Gibson Latimer, which they sell at Dillard's, and I don't know where else, but I know for sure Dillard's. And I also know for sure that every Gibson Latimer piece I've ever taken to Uptown Cheapskate, they buy it from me. So, there's the back. It's just got like a crisscross action. It's just a one piece. Got this precious little smocked Minnie Mouse dress because who doesn't want to put their little baby in this and take them to Disney World? Victoria's Secret Pink. These are some little camo pajama bottoms. And... These are just some little black pajama bottoms. Also Victoria's Secret Pink. I got these American Eagle denim shorts. Now obviously we're going into fall. So I think I'll probably hold on to these for a while. But my, my American Eagle shorts always sell. And I got... This little giraffe lovey because I always pick up loveys, but this is Primark Baby, and I couldn't find any comps on it, so I don't think he's a high dollar one. It, um, a movie for my son, and I got him a little book of Mad Libs. I used to love Mad Libs when I was a kid, so I'm trying to teach him how to do those. I got this crossword puzzle book because, I mean, you know, sometimes you like a good crossword puzzle. This is just a framed cactus print. I thought it'd be cute in my library. And I thought like I could write some, like a quote or something on the glass. I was really excited about this because when we have craft sales locally, I always see like the booth where somebody is making the notebooks out of the old books, like spiral bounding them. And so sure enough, this is from a company called Junk Revival. 
um, Junk Town Revival, Rescued and Redeemed. And so, like, it's the little golden book of Cinderella, but then it's all these blank pages. And I love it. I think that's such a good use of an old book. Um, and I was able to get it so cheap at Goodwill Outlet. There were two of these watering cans, new with tags, so I gave one to my mom, and I kept one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm sure I can find a use. And now we are to my item with a story. So this coffee grinder was just, you know, chilling. Nobody was interested in it, and I just think it's such a cute piece. And it doesn't work right now because I took it apart, which I'll explain in a minute. And when I put it back together, I think I did it wrong. Anyway. It is pretty dirty, and when I open up this little drawer, it's cleanish now, but there's a straight blade that was in there, and there were some dirty, like, coins, okay? So, I was like, oh, cool, I'll make, like, three cents back from this. So, I bought it just to use as a piece of decor. Wasn't, I was like, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll stick it somewhere because it's cute. <laughs> so, I get it home, and I'm, like, cleaning it, and I take the drawer out, and when I do this falls out. I don't know if I can get it. Let me take it out and see if I can show you. Can you see? Alright, so... I text my friend, Amy, that's who went with me, and I'm like, Amy, you're never going to believe what fa fell out of the coffee grinder. I think it's like a legit diamond. And she's like, for reals? So, I have a jeweler's loop, and I was looking, and I really wasn't seeing any imperfections, and so that's, you know, that usually means it's fake. But then, it passed the sink test, like, it sunk to the bottom of the water, so it's, you know, dense, and it scratched some glass and what else did I do then I did the UV light test on it and it didn't glow like my wedding ring my wedding ring turned blue if you didn't know diamonds tend to do that under black light but not all diamonds do because I also have diamonds in the setting around here and they didn't all turn blue so I was like okay so I was so excited I was like this like probably a half carat diamond and I'm gonna get some money off that coffee grinder and she's so Amy's like well I actually really like that coffee grinder and I was gonna ask you could I buy it from you I'm like girl you can have it but I've got to take it apart first to make sure there's no more diamonds hiding in it so that's why I got took apart and I think I put it back together wrong but she's just using it for decor so she doesn't care um so anyway I took this up to the jewelry shop and I was like hey I think I found a diamond not a diamond. I think it's a cubic zirconia. It's very pretty. I know you couldn't see how pretty it is in the camera. It's very pretty, but it's fake. So, for like, you know, a couple days there between the time I found it and the time I went up to the jewelry shop, I was going to be rich, but didn't work out that way. So, got to keep selling things because didn't find quick, easy money in my coffee grinder. Anyway, guys, that's all of the things that I got. I paid $60. What do you think? Did I get a pretty good deal? Um, don't you wish I found a diamond? That would make a much better story than I thought I found a diamond, but it wasn't. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell located next to it, which will notify you every time I post a new video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!